Hey guys, welcome to Asher and Gat channel. Making Africa home again, one family at a time. Hope you guys are all doing well, wherever you find yourself on this planet. Hope you're all making gradual plans to transition from wherever you are in the four corners of this earth, back to uh, home sweet home, the wonderful continent of Africa. Okay, uh, it's a lovely continent. You know, it has its pros, has its cons, but um, as they say, you adapt and overcome wherever you are. So, thank you to our lovely subscribers um, for liking, sharing, and commenting as usual. Love to the love for our PayPal and Patreon family members also. All right, so today I'm uh, coming to you from a, um, an area that is called Adringano. Adringano in East Legon. Um, I'm not actually there at the moment because uh, I actually forgot to film. I'm on a different client's roof right now, but I'll, I'll share pictures of where I was prior to this coming to where I am now. And this is again a, a very nice development. Uh, our client is um, putting together, in fact, he has built a, um, an apartment block. He's got four flats, basically, four apartment, apartments in one big building. Okay, yeah, he's, he's had this building for a few years uh, and now he's really motoring forward to make his dream become a reality. He's um, requested the services of Asher and Gad to, um, to help him out in terms of the construction monitoring, installation monitoring, testing and commissioning, but also most importantly, the, um, what he wants in terms of the, 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 the main supply, the generator, the solar, and also, I'll, get, I'll come into that, he wants a very sort of unique 110, 220 volt system in this apartment block. But before I get into that, I'm showing you some pictures of, on your screen of uh, our client's building. What I really want to touch on is encroachment. Encroachment, okay? This seems to happen in Ghana a lot. So this client, he bought this plot, don't know how, how many years ago, I don't know, about three or four years ago, let's say. Not exactly sure. Uh, and apparently when he bought it, it was about four plots okay which is significant size okay but he wasn't here uh, unfortunately for whatever reason uh, he, he didn't put the fence the fence perimeter wall around it quick enough and what happened is over the years people have built beside him and they have encroached onto his land okay they have encroached onto his land and to the extent that the four plots in reality on the ground is probably in my estimation just by looking around and compared to what we have is about i reckon two and three quarters yeah two and three quarters that's what he has because of the encroachment can you believe that madness absolute madness now obviously he can challenge that by the hassle the aggravation the lawyers involved and the rest you know Maybe he just can't be bothered. I don't know. It can be challenged. But the lesson to be learned here is that, guys, when you buy a plot of land, a plot of land, put your perimeter fence wall around it. ASAP. ASAP. Get that fence wall around it. Don't waste time. Okay? If you know you can't afford to buy the plot and put the fence wall around it immediately, don't buy the plot yet. Buy it when you have the money to put your fence wall around it because that safeguards your area, safeguards your plot to match what's on your paperwork. Now, obviously, these guys have encroached. Obviously, it's not legal. It can be challenged, absolutely. You know, it can be challenged. The wall can be broken down at their cost and rebuilt, absolutely. You know, but that's obviously, <laughs> be safe rather than sorry. Build your fence wall as soon as you buy your plot day one. That's it. Hope that, <laughs> set, take, keep that tip in mind. Okay, now let's get back to the house. But before we do that, let's go on a short break and we'll be, right, we'll be right back with you. Are you looking to build your dream home in Ghana? Or are you building already? Would you benefit from regular site visits to monitor your building and receive regular progress reports? 
Well, if that's the case, and that's you, look no further, Asher & Gag Consultancy at your service. We offer the following services, electrical design, construction monitoring inspections, site progress reports, consultation for all items MEP, witnessing of testing and commissioning, periodic snagging, vetting of specialist subcontractors. We also report site activities to you to hopefully help you spend your money efficiently and much, much more. Get in contact for your building needs, details on the screen, Asher & Gag Consultancy, make in Africa home again, one family at a time. Welcome back, guys. So, um, right, so showing you pictures of the of this client's building. Four flats, two on the ground floor, two on the first. Um, he's got an ECG pole, which is actually in his neighbor's property. And uh, he wants the cable to be un underground. Which is the right way to go in this in this modern times okay now it, again it's an apartment it's rental so each apartment needs to be independent okay each apartment needs to have its own power supply so that each person can pay for their own electricity simple as that each apartment to have its own air conditioning its own electrical supply everything <clears throat> no issues there prepaid meters no in, no interaction for the landlord he's got enough on his plate <clears throat> They do everything themselves so more than likely there'll be five distribution boards as a minimum okay we've been called on board to design that system for him because he wants he wants that i think he's looking for uh, some sort of backup generator as well and solar as well um but we need, we need to talk to him to see what's the most economical approach and what he really wants and what is really unique about these clients is that for the ground floor rooms, uh, ground floor flats, he wants them to be a normal standard 220 volt um, uh, supplies, normal Ghana standard. But for the first floor, because our client is in America, and I think he's going to move all this stuff over. He wants the first floor to be able to have 110 volt 60 hertz as well as 220 volts. Okay, as well as. 220 volts also now this is all possible you know we can we can design that all out for the client um no no issues no issues at all we'll run through the design with the client we'll consult with him again the client is not an engineer but that doesn't matter you know we'll explain everything in layman's term you know we'll have probably option one two three explain the pros and cons of each option explain the, you know the, the high level financial uh, comparison between the options the cost benefit how what's what's, what's the short-term and long-term benefit and then the client can make an informed choice that's what that's what we're going to do because that's what consultancy is about okay um what i do want to also say is two tips in this video one was the encroachment and two for for the guys who are across the pond in america now if you want a 110 system very good no problems but obviously make the decision for a 110 volt system only if you're going to relocate all your items from america to ghana okay if you are not going to relocate all your items from america to ghana and you're going to relocate to ghana or any other country that has two, 220 volts right and you're going to buy new stuff in that country like in ghana then there's no point in having a 110 if you're going to buy everything new in ghana then there's no point in having a 110 you might just stick to, to stick to the normal 220 okay fine so all depends on your personal circumstances are you moving everything over or buying everything fresh or new in ghana one consideration the other consideration and most people do not account for this i've spoken about this sorry about the noise in the background i'm on a construction site i have spoken about this in two other videos if you haven't watched the video how to wire your house for 110 volt and 220 volts click up here i also did a follow-up video i talked further on the 110 220 especially regarding the frequency conversion so if you haven't watched that video also click up here and watch those two videos now there are some some devices maybe like phone chargers or other pieces of equipment yeah and there are various factors here but there are some devices bring them from america remember america is 110 volt 60 hertz ghana is 220 volts 50 hertz some appliances you bring them from america 110 they'll work fine but there are some appliances phone charges typically in other places that may and i stress that that may overheat 
due to the frequency difference not the voltage but the frequency difference okay so bear that in mind i visited another client's uh, building this, he was in uh, pantang west very very brilliant client okay he had bought his own step down transformer but that transformer transformed from 220 to 110 but also the transformer itself is a frequency converter so not only does it, does it step down the voltage it also converts the frequency from 50 hertz to 60, 60 hertz so you put into the transformer 220 at 50 the Ghana system and we get out from the transformer 110 at 60 hertz so therefore it is absolutely perfect no issues for any appliance whatsoever that he's bringing from america all right so that's another tip guys to bear in mind if you're buying the step down transformer okay try to find the one that has a the ability to convert the frequency as well that's ideal that is ideal if, if you can't afford it fine you can stick with the basic voltage step down okay that will still work um uh you know one or two appliances may, may, may overheat but it may not be detrimental you know uh, again if you watch the past videos i've done on this you hopefully understand what i'm talking about come back to our client's building if you look at the, the images on, on your screen it's a lovely building okay he's got a, an external staircase he wants me to help out with, with that design as well or some ideas at least the, the building has evolved so obviously the initial plans the initial electrical plans are some of them are a bit redundant because the building has evolved you know some areas have changed the use of the building has evolved as well so therefore the design has to evolve with it unless you're gonna get you got a mixture of eggs and, and and apples when it's finished all right so we'll keep you guys informed as well as we go along um again it's confidential um so can't really reveal too much i just give you the the generic information that will help you if you are doing anything similar all right guys well i hope you enjoyed this video as usual like share subscribe hit the notification button so you always be aware when asher and gad upload a new video for your educational pleasure all right so from gad is chemist here and for me guys see you next time